All right. I've been waiting a whole week to yell at this guy. Trader Dave snuck right from under me last week. After, right after I did my market watch, this guy popped into the market uh, with this $50 super fuel. Now, oddly enough, I believe the price changed from when I last saw it. I think it was like flat 50 last time, maybe 99 cents uh, shipping. And this is a non-hex, people. This is not rare by any capacity. This is just the regular super rare, $50. This is what happens when there's a complete buyout of a card that a lot of people want. This is what happens when we allow one person to control the market on a card. You get $50 super fuels. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. Thank God it's still on here, because if somebody caved and bought it, I would have been equally upset. Because that's just giving into it. $50 for super fuel, not even hex. Hex, maybe. But not hex is ridiculous. We are getting resurgence more and more readily available to us. And the fact that people are opening more and more resurgence packs means, guess what? More and more super fuels. So the fact that someone can come up here and make it $50 makes no sense to me. Trader Dave saw that there was a hole in the market and he took advantage. Now, this is not a hit piece on Trader Dave. <laughs> Treat him with respect. I don't want anyone to like come after this guy. He's just doing, you know, he's, he's getting that bread, you know, it, and he's setting a precedent. So, he's just doing what markets do, right? This is the thing, this is the whole reason I made Market Watch, is so things like this would not happen. So, people were more aware that the market is a thing to watch, nurture, take care of, or else it's the beginning of the end. And I'm not saying like, oh, the super fuel $50, oh, the, the Bakugan's dying. No. No. I'm saying that it's a vital part of the community to where people would be able to access and attain cards. Um, and we need to make sure that cards can be accessible to nearly everyone. And stuff like this, buyouts, monopolies, it's not good. So, I'm going to shut up about Super Fuel because I'm four minutes in and that's all I've been talked about, talking about. Um, but if you have Super Fuels and you are not using them or you're not letting people use them in your own locals like I do, please help us out. Contribute to the market. Don't make it $50.00. You'll actually sell them if you make them... Ch like, this is the precedent. This is like anchoring. A manipulative tactic in uh, psychology when it comes to video games and stuff like that. That's a set price. No one's going to pay that. So anything lower is going to seem like a bargain. Honestly, this is to your advantage. If you want to sell super fuels, market them like 25 bucks. They will sell. Just because this is so ridiculous. Trader Dave is doing you a favor. So, please, anyone who has access to cards, anyone who has a lot of cards that the community could generally, like, use to build and grow this game, please, put them on TCG Player. Alright, done with that. 
Let's go over Battle Brawlers. I feel like we haven't done that in a long time. Uh, Pact of Darkness. See, like, this is what Super Fuel should be. It's still expensive. It's not $50, though. Like, this is Darkest.deck. Like, this is the only reason Darkest exists right now. The only reason you justify playing Darkest in anything is just because Pact of Darkness is still an amazing card. Like, you hardly run any other Darkest cards if that. Uh, Dankuso. Uh, hmm. I think that was the same as last time where it's like four, uh, $31 for the non-Hex and the Hex was cheaper. I think I, I constantly jab at that. 25 bucks, maybe. Uh, market price still 22 Really? This is such a good deal for Tiger Reflexes. Like, if you guys don't scoop them up, seriously, I might. Like, like, hello? <laughs> like, because if, if you run out of these... Uh-oh, stinky, $26. That's not good. Uh-oh. Like, this is one of the best flips in the game. <laughs> like, hello? Because, like, energy, unless you're playing against Pyrus that, like, uses reusable... Or, like, um... Stupo energy or whatever it's called um, Like fake energy for that turn if you turbo once you're generally gonna always get this off Because there's not a lot of decks that can just go. Oh, I have an extra energy They can't keep up with you if you play Ventus then again, you'd have to be playing Ventus in order to play this but uh, Winton's still looking pretty decent five dollars. I Mess with that. I think TCG general just joined the fight Thank you, TCG General. Or TC General. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Titan Dragonoid. Five dollars. That's not bad. That's pretty schmoovy. That's pretty good. Uh, Titan Ilias. Alright. TC General. Nice to see you on board, too. Three bucks. Four bucks. Yep. And then the Hollow Hex is about eleven dollars, which it's the best deck in the game. So, I mean, you're gonna see that. Um, no... I mean, if you like Green Fist. <laughs> and then Everett Ray, $5. Honestly, no one really runs Everett Ray anymore. I'm sorry. So, that's probably going to go down. Stand Together. Uh, this is... Uh, I want to give good notice to this. Um, this card is going to be busted. I would invest... Um, because the new Pegatrix Ultra, I think, Evo, coming from Armored Alliance, is, um, stupid. Is absolutely stupid with, um, with Domination. So, just a, just a tip, just heads up. Nature's Power, I still need one more. <laughs> uh, six bucks. Nature's Assimilation slept on, uh, if you're playing Mono Ventus. If you're playing Mono Ventus. Strata, $5. Uh, Black Hole, 3 bucks. yeah. You only play in a Mono Darkest, really. Like, it, I never really liked Black Hole. Not that much. Because it just seemed like the person who used it go negative. Yeah, your opponent doesn't get to re-energize either. But if they didn't use anything, you're just down 3. Like, you put yourself at a disadvantage. It was only really good because of the lock, because you auto-win, but that's stupid and game-breaking. If you played that, you're... Mac, uh, one of the best cards in the game. Pretty good prices. Let me see what the Hollow Hex is. Um, About $9, $10. Kind of what I expected. I mean, it is, it is literally a win condition. Like, if you play that... Uh, you're more than likely going to win that turn and then the hollow hex of Midas Sindias is I'm glad to see that they're on the market uh, And for decent price too, four dollars for a hollow hex of something that's that widely used is very good um, We got Magnus here for those oddball hero players that want to run uh, Pact of darkness in their hero decks That's a win condition on its own Unless your opponent Max or Midas Sindias is you, but like if you pull that off by some whatever means. Inferno Wings, people are. I still stand behind core removal cards. I don't know if Inferno Wings is that good, except for like a team attack, like getting rid of that extra damage. But like just the mere fact that rerolls exist in, in such a capacity, it's kind of rough. Absorb, sinkhole's better, but where is it? 
so that's why absorb is like four dollars um. oh screw it let's go over baku cores or not where'd they go left baku core right baku core what the heck does that mean Oh, the character card. Okay. Now we both know. The one with nature is surprisingly not that expensive for a super rare. That's interesting. How much is it? Hollow Hex. Okay. Ten bucks. That makes sense. Yeah. It's a good card. It's unfortunately not being able to see any use right now. Wayne's. Now that's a really good card. You say you see Evos a lot more than heroes, for sure. Okay, let's take a little bit of a dip into a resurgence. Oh, Trader Dave can make good prices. Hmm. That's so that's like night and day. Hmm. Um Okay, Tritonium still the same price. That's so weird. It's only super fuel with him. Hmm. Toolbox, you've been outdone. You've been out cheapened by Trader Dave. Trader frickin' Dave, dude. <laughs> Trader frickin' Dave. Maximus Fangzor. Still, no idea. I guess it's because it it's an elite, but I don't know who's using that, that, that Bakugan. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, this went down, way down. This used to be $10, now it's like five. People realize no one's playing that card. Nice. Uh, now the other Kokelios can take all the money. Air zeros are going way down, tragic, but air zero sucks, so. Kind of expected. Titan Ilias Ultra. Like, if it's not for Super Fuel and a few cards, Bakugan would be cheap. Just saying that. Bakugan would be cheap. Except for, you know, having to buy the toys and the cores and all that. Like, except for, like, the way the game works where you have to buy, like, a lot of things. But the ma fact of the matter is, some of the cards are, like, really cheap. A lot of the staples are. But Hurricane Wins is, uh, we got another one. I think Nerdy Friends uploaded theirs, $12. I think that's the new one, so. Uh, already, already cheaper. So, uh, guys, if you have any non hollow hexes, I'd love to see them here. I know a lot of people that need some hurricane wins. That's another card that should be more prevalent in the market. Thank you. Love you. See you in December, guys. Mwah. Um, I'll pour the goat. Ortheon, Strata, Dark Fortune, Trox, Lurking, Waiting, um, I have Serpentis, Burn Someone to Death, my Serpentis does not want to open for the life of it, so, ooh, Huge Knowledge I think took a dip too, that's cool, Crystal Quake, really good card in Ventus, five bucks, alright, alright, Nerdy Friends, oh, I think someone's snatching them up. Because I remember there was like six on the market. Yeah. Okay. So only one more $3 Hyper Nilius Ultra. If you play Shields, you want that. Same with this guy. Or no, not this guy. Why is Titan Pegatrix Ultra? Oh, awesome rare. That explains it. Okay. It's such a miss effect. Riptide. Came in the structure deck. Two bucks. That's generous. That's nice. Three bucks almost, yeah. Titan Serpentis Ultra. Pretty good card. I argue it's better than Hyper. I do. Oh, Emily. Grab these. <laughs> Grab Emily's. Can't even say it with a straight face.
Shargo Ronin. I'm surprised I don't see nerdy friends putting out a Shargo Ronin. Don't have any to spare? <laughs> you gotta put him in all your decks, guys. He's the GOAT. Hidden tech. Oh, hey. Hyper Tertonium. This guy's gonna be losing value just because Hydorus is him, but better. I actually really wanted to use Turtle Boy and Helixes. Oh, Blinding Ink. Here we go. Wow. Cheaper. Cheaper. It used to be three or four. Now it's... Hovering around 250, so I mean... <laughs> That's some Deep dive. Three bucks. Ew. For deep dive? I mean, if you're playing Aquos, you're running deep dive, but still. Okay. Surprised this isn't getting up in price. Are there any hollow hexes? Hollow hexes I expect to be around. Whoa. For how good this deck is, I'm really shocked that I think people are still sleeping on this. Are still sleeping on this deck because this Evo makes it happen. Probably the best domination deck that there's they got going on right now, besides HTN, but it doesn't really depend on domination. This one does. Holy Flame. Water Green Fist. Quick Fires. Can we see if there are any Hollow Hexes for sale? Ah, oh, there is. $16. $11 if you're feeling, uh, you know, like a budget player. $16 for a Hollow Hex Quick Fire. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so sorry this uh, market watch went a little long. I, I quite frankly don't know what you guys like as far as market watches. I don't know if you like the longer episodes or the shorter episodes. I'm kind of getting mixed reviews on each. So um, if you like the longer ones, please let me know. If you like the 10 minute to 15 minute ones, please let me know. Or if you want to just go gung-ho back to 30 minutes, sure, let me know as well. Uh, yeah, I went a little long because uh, my whole rant at the beginning, but, you know, it's still a very vital message. <laughs> so, I'm not upset that I did that. And, Trader Dave, if you're watching this, however you can get it, look, bro, I don't hate you. You gotta get your bread, you gotta get your money, and, uh... You know, that's just that's just what happens in a market. You know, you're you're a product of your environment, bro. I can't fault you. And uh, you're making it way easier for someone to outsell you. So, by all means, uh, keep doing what you do. Um, it's mainly for shock value at this point where people just kind of come in and out of the market and they go, Super Fuel's $50? What the? So, um, you know, keep people on their toes. All right, um... I'm going to leave. So you guys have a good one. An excellent one. Draw them up. Alright. <laughs> Stupid. I still have to find an outro. I don't know what the hell to say at the end of these videos. <laughs>